In the middle of a snowstorm, a tow truck driver pulled over to help a police officer on I-40. That good deed cost Pat Cincinnati's his life earlier this week. Tonight, dozens of people gathered to honor him. Here's News 13's Marissa Lucero. Dean, Jess, not only did dozens of people show up tonight, but dozens of tow truck drivers from all across New Mexico packed an empty lot as a way to remember their friend. Tonight's vigil began with a single tow truck. The engine idled and the emergency lights beamed across an empty lot. The lights behind us is, is a message. Then one turned into more than 120 tow trucks from all across New Mexico and their drivers who gathered near 2nd and I-40, all to honor one man, their competitor, but also their friend, Pat Cisneros. When something happens, somebody's down, somebody's sick, something like this, somebody gets killed. We all come together. Wednesday morning, a state police officer was investigating a crash on I-40 when a semi rammed into their patrol car. Cisneros came across the crash and pulled over to help. State police say Cisneros was standing outside when a semi hit him. He died at the scene. Tonight, they honored him during a candlelight vigil. Patrick was the type of person that would help anybody. First you think, surely not another one. Linda Unruh's son Bobby was also a tow truck driver who was killed two years ago. My, I got to speak with my son 20 minutes before that 18-wheeler hit him. And his last words were to me is, Mom, I got this. I won't let nobody get hurt on my watch. Shortly after, she helped get Bobby's law passed, expanding the state's move over law to include tow trucks. Drivers are required to slow down or move over if they see emergency vehicles. My mission is to save lives. A message Unruh says was shared among dozens of others tonight. When you see these amber lights, you see red and blue lights, you see any flashing light, whether it's a car or a tow truck driver, you're supposed to slow down and move to the next lane. A group of New Mexico State Police officers were also there tonight, including the one officer who Cisneros pulled over to help. Back to you, Jess. All right, thank you, Marissa. Police say the crash is still under investigation.